Hey guys, so this is our first weekly video and we're talking about perfume and deodorant. So the first difference I find with the two, which might sound a little bit weird or might not, but it's the memory that I get with perfume versus deodorant. I don't think about going on first dates and remembering like a deodorant. It's usually a cologne or a perfume. It's usually that feeling of getting ready and putting a really nice perfume on as well before you go. I remember certain people because of their scents. I mean, it's one of our biggest senses. So when you meet someone, you often notice their smell before you notice a lot of other things. It can influence the way that you see a person. My second one about uh, perfume and deodorant is how long they last. Deodorants, they dissipate a lot quicker than perfumes. Perfumes can last for hours, depending as well on the concentration of what perfume you do get, which we'll talk about in another video. Uh, usually we just put it under our arms um, and it goes you know, within a couple of hour, like hours, it's gone. And you have to reapply it if you are sweating or um, even if you just smell. <laughs> but perfume can last for hours and I love that it changes. From the moment you spray it, after a couple of minutes it will change and the scent will develop and after a couple of hours it will be a completely different scent. So that leads me on to the other difference about shopping. It really, you do go shopping for deodorants but it's not really an experience. So when you go shopping for a new fragrance, it's like a new, you know, I love, I've heard this a few times now but um, people are saying an extension of your personality, which I think is so true. It's like girls like putting your makeup on or styling your hair a certain way or guys getting ready and dressing a certain way and then putting your cologne on to match that look. I think we put a lot more thought into it. It's classed as something that is more expensive and more luxurious, which is awesome because I think the way that you smell is super important and you shouldn't just put anything on. You can't really do that with the deodorant. You don't go like shopping or you wouldn't give deodorant as a gift to someone unless you're trying to insult them. Advice when you are shopping for it is you, you can try a few but perfumes change over time. So the best thing you can do is to find one that you, you like those first like initial smells and then take it home and try it for a couple of months because you don't really know what it'll smell like after a couple of hours of using it. So you might not like the smell after a few hours but it's kind of cool to find out. You're like, yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna get. I, I kind of... I'm shocking, I'll base it like off the way the bottle looks <laughs> and the first smell. I mean, most of us do and that's all you can do until you figure out how it smells or how it reacts and how long it lasts on your skin as well. It might smell completely different on me to you. So we're gonna do another video on some advice to figure out which one you should just try because it is a little bit overwhelming, especially when you go shopping for it and you're like, oh my gosh, there's so many, what do I get? But we just wanted to start with a short one. That's the kind of stuff we're going to be talking about. So let us know what you think in the comments. Send us some questions which you think would be awesome and we can start answering them and hopefully do some more videos with your questions in them as well. But let us know what you think and we will see you next week.